Hello, welcome to a new Creature tutorial. This new tutorial is going to cover the new frame callback mechanism in the Unreal Engine plugin for Creature. This is a new feature that was recently added that allows you to basically trigger callbacks at specific frames in the animation of your character. And they can be extremely useful. Say you wanted to spawn some kind of particle effect at some frame number, or more, more commonly used, you want to spawn, say, a sound, a footstep sound, for example, at a specific frame. So I'm going to use this fox character over here for this instructional demo. Okay, and so first things first, we are opening up the character in Creature. And as you can see, the character lands on the ground every every so often, every say 22, sec uh, 22 frames or something like this. So essentially every 20 frames or every 22 frames I am going to trigger a callback in Unreal Engine. Okay, so let's close it. Let's close the Fox character. Once, of course, you have to export this into the Unreal Engine plugin using the Creature JSON format and if you don't know how to do it, please watch the previous tutorials, essentially you go to export and export game engines and the tutorial will guide you through the rest. Okay, so let's take a look at the character in Unreal Engine itself. Right, so here is the Fox character. Now there's a whole bunch of setup and again these are just call, calling the creature functions. Please look at the previous tutorial if you don't know how to use these functions, but it's really simple. Essentially what's happening is in the event begin play event of this character, I'm just setting up the character for the run animation. So I'm calling the run animation and then I'm setting a custom t a frame range, time range or frame range just to trim down the frame range so we, I can demonstrate this a lot easier. Okay, so let's say we are we are having a frame range from 25 to 125. So what do I do? Well, what you do is essentially you come in and you want to start setting a callback. So you drag the handle over here and you say set blueprint and there is actually a frame callbacks function so do that and this allows you to do frame callbacks so once you have this set up there is an input node over here called callbacks in so drag that out and it's going to ask you to make an array so make an array so once you have an array it's up to you to start adding these different callbacks these various callbacks into into the function to trigger them for your character. So depending on how many callbacks you want, I can start adding a couple of them, say three of them. And once you have these three slots, again you drag out the slots and it will ask you to make a creature frame callback struct. So you make that struct, okay, and we can make it for the subsequent slots like so. Right, so now I have three structs, okay, and you can give them a name each. So I can call this, say, callback1, callback2, and callback3. Now you have to give them different names, unique names, of course, because you'll see why in a bit. Because when the callback gets triggered, this is a way for you to, to differentiate which callback is which and do and perform an action according to that callback. And then there's anim clip name, which this is the actual animation clip name that you want to trigger the callback on. So none is an invalid name because there's no animation clip called none for the fox. There is, however, an animation clip called run for the fox, so I'm going to change it to run. Okay, so I'm going to do this, call set this to run. And then finally, you want to set the actual frame that the callback is going to trigger on, right? So I can say I want to trigger it at frame 21, and then frame 42, and frame 52. Okay? So that's an example. Now, obviously, this is only three callbacks. There's more footsteps in the fox. So I'm going to delete this because I've already set this up for you. You'll see in a while. Uh, I'm going to show you a, a bunch of callbacks I've already set up, which is over here. The footsteps callback setup. I'm going to back this guy over here. Actually, let, let, let me ma maximize this window. And I'm going to connect up the functions to to the set blueprint frame callbacks setup that pretty trigger. This actually sets up a, f a full range of callbacks for the fox, right? And you noticed I have it triggered at d different different frames. I have it triggered at 21, 41, 62, 82, and so on. So I've set set it up exactly the same way as I did before, except 
there's actually more callbacks this time. Right, so I've set up all these different structs. Okay, I connected them up to the array over here, right? And they all pipe in to the callbacks in input node for the set blueprint callbacks function. Okay, okay, so that's the setup. So that's the setup. So how do you trigger it? Well, to trigger it, you actually have to add in an event. So what you do is you click on creature mesh and you notice there is actually a bunch of events you can add to the creature mesh, mesh component. One of them is actually called the creature frame callback event. Now I've added that already in this example over here, but if it, obviously if it doesn't exist for you because you haven't set it up, you go to creature mesh and you go to creature frame callbacks and, you, and there'll be a plus sign over there and you, and you basically press pl plus. So let me, let's set that up for you right now. Let's see how you do it from scratch. So click on creature mesh and then move your mouse over to creature frame callback event, click the plus sign, and that adds a callback, okay? So by default, this obviously does nothing because it's an empty callback. So what you do is you actually just, again, drag your mouse from the exact handle, and I want to play a sound. So I say play sound 2D, and I have a footstep, I have a footstep sound, sound file I can play, right? So that will play the footstep. In addition to that, there's this name parameter. Remember I told you about the name parameter on top. Each callback struct is given a specific name, like step two, step four, step six, and so on. And this allows you to differentiate which callback is which, so you can form specific actions based on the name of, of, of the, the, the trigger. Now in my case, I'm not doing specific actions because I'm playing a sound, the same sound for each callback, but I do want to print out, I do want to print out the name just to show you what what, what the different names are, and you can then you can then you know decide in your case what you want to do with it. So this is an example of me basically playing a sound, and then it'll it'll print out a string, the name basically the name of that trigger. So you can you can do some differentiation. All right, okay. So we save, and we compile, and then we run. Let's see what we get. So you can see the fox is now running on the screen and you can see the different triggers see the different triggers are getting printed by the 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 print the print string the print the print string over here is printing out the name of the different triggers we set it's also playing a sound basically calling play sound 2d at each trigger right so this is a very easy way for you, for you to add callback callbacks to trigger footsteps, footstep sounds for your characters at specific frames. So that's one example. You can also imagine you want to trigger, say, a particle effect at a specific frame for your character, right? That also could be useful in this case. Okay, so this basically concludes this new callback trigger event mechanism for Unreal Engine for the Creature plugin. And I hope you find this very useful, especially for triggering off sound effects for your characters, footsteps, slashing of swords, etc., at specific frames of your character. More documentation is on the online documentation page, so have a look. And thanks for watching.